answer is uh, we are covering how to do a couple of things. So this is new tutorial series how to. Uh, in previous tutorial uh, of how to set theme color, I covered two things: how to uh, use and set the live customizer, like change the preset and change the typograph and other things. And this and the second uh, portion, I show that how can you do those things from the code itself. We have a common config.ts file where you can change the values and uh, that will apply to everywhere. Now in this video, I'm going to uh, explain how to set the custom colors. So we have provided seven different preset colors, but you can change those colors as per your requirement. Uh, you can create the eight uh, preset, or you can change the existing uh, color and apply as per your need. So let me show that from the code. So there are two ways to do that thing. So um, if I, this is my project in the running mode. Uh, this is sample page and this is my landing page. So currently uh, the default color is uh, applied here like the, this is the secondary and this is the primary color and that is being applied from SRC and then themes and then palette, right? And that palette is being called from index. So here is the theme option. So this color is being used and that is being passed here, theme option, this. So we have assets, SCSs, and this variables. So this is the default uh, theme that you see in the live environment. This is the primary color, this is the secondary color, these are the success, error, warning, and so on. And those, the uh, below section is for the dark variant of color. So when you change it to dark, this color will be applied. So everything is being saved in the variable. You just need to change the uh, variable value here itself. And this is for the uh, JavaScript purpose. So uh, this variable, for instance, this is the primary light or primary dark. Um, I can see that it's being used here. So if I search, oops, uh, this is primary light. If I go to here, the primary light, let me do that search here. So wherever, if I search like this, primary dot light. So the palette is the source of the truth for every styling. So if I want to search that where this primary dot light is used, and this is being used like this, primary dot light. You cannot directly search primary light like this. This is only used in the uh, style modules file, otherwise it is not used anywhere. So I can check using primary dot light and this color, whatever variable is being used here from this, that is used here in this file. So for instance, instead of primary light, if I check primary dot mean, I, this is used everywhere, primary dot mean. So, if I check in the uh, landing page key feature like this, this is being used. That is being used. Let me check. If I copy this, okay. This is the primary color. It's two places. If I don't like this color and if I want to change this, what I can do? I can just go to palette. I'll check where is the main color. I'll find the variable here that start primary mean and primary mean. And then I'll go to the, my uh, uh, variable files. I just change this color to something else. For instance, let's say I want to make it red, right? And if I save it. So wherever this theme color palette primary dot mean is being used everywhere in each component, that will impact, so yeah, see? This color has been changed from blue to like uh, reddish one, like this one as well this logo one as well. Everywhere this main is being used, that will be changed. So it's as much as simple. Same way if I want to change the uh, 
color in the dark variant. So I'll go to yeah, uh, dark primary main and I'll make it to white or something else. So let me make it to yellow. Yeah, and I'll save it and I'll also change my default variant to the dark here. Save it. And I go here. Let's see for compilation. Just a change in the variant. Yeah, you can see the primary color has been changed here to yellow shown, the logo and everything. Like the key features and the icon background and kind of that thing. So this is how you can change each and every color as per your need. So what I did here is I just changed into the default uh, uh, theme preset. This is the default one. There are six different. Uh, presets here. So total seven presets is being given um, to you. You can see the same in the live environment. So if you see here, once it's load, there are seven different variants like this. This seven. So this seven have uh, each have a different file, which I saw it here. Right. So the seven files are being managed here. Uh, as a side note, you can create a new file. Uh, like, uh, for instance, um, I will just copy this and paste it here. Let me just name this. I'll team my. Yeah. So. How can I do this? That uh, my diff instead of the default one, this thing my model can apply. So instead of the six, I'll just uh, copy this, import that file here, in slash my, and my team. Alright, so wherever color is being used, instead of color, I'll use my theme. Yeah, my theme. Yeah, I'll save it. At this point, we cannot identify if my theme is being applied or uh, the default one, but what we can do here, we can just change this color. Themes, okay, this is themes. Let's do index. Yeah, here in the default, we, are, we just set the my theme, right? So this is unused. I can comment it for a moment. Save it. Yeah, so let me go back to the my theme. Yeah, so I was mentioning that, that these two files, the default one and my module will be the same. We cannot identify which one is loaded. So what I do, I just change the uh, uh, color of dark one because my current configuration is the dark to um, like this to, to green right and I'll save it so the default have different dark primary me so the default have this color as a primary mean and my custom module SSS module have this color so let's see that impact 
apply here or not yeah see so this color came from my custom uh, theme module so you can play around with it you can change as much as color you want but it is important that how can you find this thing like if i change primary light then where it is being used so to answer that question this primary light is being used in the palette file which is here inside the theme and then palette if you search it here primary light so that is being used for the primary dot light color so as i mentioned if you search primary dot light here oops. so wherever the primary dot light is being used that will uh, change if you change this variable name uh, that is the thing that is the first thing second thing if you want to apply those colors somewhere for instance if i go i go to dashboard here right and i want to apply background color as a primary name currently you can see that is a simple background there is no such background but i i want to apply the same background like this primary name so how can i do that so what i can do i can go to uh, src views sample page i'll go here there are two way to do first thing is that you will just create a um, object of theme like use theme i'll just use this uh, okay let me give me material and style let me import that use theme yeah so this is how you can use it theme dot palette dot primary dot mean which means that from this palette theme you can uh, consider this file as a theme dot palette then primary and then main so that color will apply here should be e the uh, star palette yeah yeah so if I, yeah see the background color has been applied i know it's not looking good but that's how you can change it you can choose whatever color you want to do uh, uh by this way using theme hook the second way to do this i i can apply the string but that will just applied uh, or provided in the sx property so instead of this what i can do i can just do a string here i don't need to uh, use the this object here i can just comment it how so by this applying the string you don't need to use theme dot primary and uh, whatever stuff but that is being said that the string thing will only work uh, in string thing will only work uh, in this uh, sx property so let me revert this sample page first discard changes and then I do this. Yeah. So you don't need to import any uh, palette or styles, and just it will just directly work in the assets as a string. So yeah, same impact is here. So that's it for this video. We saw uh, in this video that how can you uh, change the colors uh, of uh, existing theme and the variables. Uh, how those variables is being used in the palette file so you need to consider this palette file as a source of truth for every uh, ui changes or color changes because uh, this is uh, used as a variables in a different places then we saw that uh, how can you uh, use your own new uh, preset file and change the color and then after we saw that how can you change the uh, or use those variables or palette properties on different places by two way like one used to use the use theme hook and the second is to just uh, pass the string uh, values here so that's it for this tutorial see you in the next one